Hello friends, today we are going to see compare attribute in MVC3 Tracer. Now compare attribute ensures two properties on a model object have the same value. And this property is usually used to compare email address or passwords. Now this attribute is in system.web.mvc namespace. Now uh, the other attributes like regular expression required are present in system.component model.data annotation namespace but this compare attribute is present in system.web.mvc in order to use this attribute we need to include this same space now let's see through the code how we can use this now in order to use this uh, attribute we need to include system.web.mvc namespace now we have a password we are going to uh, compare password with confirm password now in many screens ui screens we have seen password and confirm password two fields are there and the confirm password should match the password value so here we say compare and it asks the other property to which this property should compare and we say uh, we say just compare the password property and we just leave it and so this is the model and in attribute we have a form created and we have used editor for, mo editor for model uh, HTML helper to create fields for all the model properties and let's run this application and see so here is our form so we enter all the values and we have entered our password as AAA and suppose we enter confirm password as BBB and we submit the form it says confirm password and password do not match and uh, so uh, we have successfully applied the, the compare property or compare attribute on the property confirm password which compares its value with the password property now if you see this message is a default message I mean the confirm password and password do not match we have not applied we have not specified any message over here so it just picks the field names of both the properties and it generates a message and shows on the UI now if you want you can provide your own message as well so suppose you want to specify your own message so we say our uh, error message is passwords are diff different now let's run the application and see whether it displays its own default message or the one we specified just uh, moment back and we run the application again now again I provide password as this and a different confirm password and submit it says passwords are different so we are actually uh, here it displayed the password which the error message which we specified now if you want you can pick the error message from resource file as well so for that there's a property which is error message resource type we need to provide the type of the error message we say type of multi multi is basically the name of the resource file so we say our error message is of type multi.resx now if you check we have a multi.resx file in multi resource folder and we have its reference over here so we could easily access the multi resource file name and with that we say our error message resource name is basically the key name which holds the error message so now we say compare this is our key now this key should be present in this multi resource file so let's create a key inside this file and we have many keys already created so we just replace it with compare message and we say passwords should match we gave totally different message than the previous one so that we could easily identify whether it's working or not whether it's picking it from the resource file or not we run the application here is a form so we uh, say password is this and we gave different confirm password and we submit the form so it says password should match 
So if we, if we check, we gave the same error message inside our RESX. So it picked the message from RESX file. So by picking from the RSX file, we could easily show uh, validation messages in different languages by just changing the current culture. And uh, this sums up uh, our task for today. We just learn how could we use compare attribute that is present in system.web.mvc in comparing the two properties of a model. Thank you friends.